Hello and welcome to this course covering AWS Config. This service is classed as a management tool service, which is fully managed and allows you to have visibility of your entire AWS infrastructure from a configuration perspective. As well as using this service to act as a resource inventory, compliance checker, and manage configuration changes of your resources, it can also be used as a part of your security analysis procedure. Before we go any further, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Stuart Scott. I am one of the trainers here at Cloud Academy, specializing in AWS, Amazon Web Services. Feel free to connect with me with any questions using the details shown on screen. Alternatively, you can always get in touch with us here at Cloud Academy using the community forum where one of our cloud experts will reply to your question. This course will be beneficial for people who are responsible for managing resource configuration changes within an AWS cloud environment. Also auditors who must have an awareness of all AWS infrastructure and their current configurations and compliance, as well as security engineers who are responsible for implementing AWS security and analyzing logs and identifying weaknesses and breaches to their environment. Throughout this course, we are going to be taking a deep look at AWS config and as a result, the following errors are going to be discussed. Starting with what is AWS config? Within this lecture, we will understand exactly what the service is and what function it provides. Next, we'll take a look at key components. This lecture breaks down the service to allow us to look at all the components and their relationship to each other and the role they play as a part of the AWS config service. Then we'll look at service integration. This lecture will look at how the AWS config service integrates with other AWS services. Following this, we'll look at how to manage compliance with AWS config. Here we will focus on how to maintain compliance using AWS config, whether these be internal or external requirements or standards. And then finally, we'll look at some use cases and best practices. And this lecture will focus on some of the use cases of when it's best to use AWS config to help you maintain, support and operate your AWS environment. On completion of this course, you will be able to recognize and explain how the AWS config service can be used by AWS customers to monitor environmental changes. You'll be able to recognize and explain the core elements of the AWS config service. You'll be able to confidently configure and implement AWS config within your own environment. And you'll understand how to maintain compliance of your resources using AWS config, for example, to help maintain security policies. Although you do not need to be an AWS expert to appreciate and benefit from this course, students will benefit from having a basic understanding of cloud computing and the AWS platform. So we recommend completing the What is Cloud Computing course along with the AWS Fundamentals Learning Path. A high level awareness of the following AWS services would also be beneficial but not essential. Simple Notification Service, SNS, Simple Queue Service, SQS, Simple Storage Service, S3, AWS CloudTrail, and Identity and Access Management. Feedback on our courses here at Cloud Academy are valuable to both us as trainers and any students looking to take the same course in the future. If you have any feedback, positive or negative, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use the comment section found on the landing page of this course. That brings us to the end of this lecture. Coming up next, we'll answer the question, what is AWS Config?